Somebody starting in business has to be very focused and very strategic. Clearly they have to be prepared to work very hard. But above all else, they've got to make sure they have the resources to allow the business to grow. And that may mean bringing in an investor. It's better to have 70% of something that's really successful than 100% of something that isn't. I believe it's a much better time for women. We've some fantastic female leaders now in business, Anne O'Leary in Vodafone, Siobhan Talbot with Lombia, Louise Phelan in PayPal. And locally we have fantastic women like Rose Hines who chairs Shannon Group, Mary Shire, the Vice President of at the University of Limerick for research, but also the President of the Chamber of Commerce. Catherine Duffy from Northern Trust, fantastic role models in the region. Uh, women are more confident, they're well educated, they're doing better at second level and third level uh, than, than men. Uh, and I think that confidence that comes from being highly educated and motivated is going to have a positive impact on business. need to make their voice heard if they're being unfairly treated. They need advisors and mentors to help them. Uh, but if they're in a, a business where there is a glass ceiling, get out and join somewhere else. Yes, I, I think there's a pep in the step in Limerick. I come here a lot. Um, many of the new investments, Regeneron, uh, even um, Jaguar out in, in, in Shannon. Um, j and is expanding, we've got Uber, we've got Northern Trust and of course the very exciting ambition of Limerick 2030 and the University of Limerick is very much going to be part of that. Well Martin Nocton is somebody that has always inspired me, he's a very modest man, a very successful man that gives generously through philanthropy to many causes. Well, I admire Michael O'Leary, I admire his resilience and his determination um, and look what he's done with Ryanair. Don't work with people you don't like. Um, be positive. My father used to say, if you can't say something good about somebody, don't say something bad. Well, I think it's very sad that Brexit is happening. I think the government here have handled it extremely well. Uh, they've been very determined, very resilient. Um, and I, I'm impressed with the manner in which it's, it's been handled, not just uh, the Taoiseach and his colleagues, but also uh, the decision of Micheál Martin uh, not to cause an election uh, because of Brexit. I think she's very resilient on the one hand, but on the other hand, she seems to have put the management of her own party uh, ahead of trying to get a deal for the country. And she's left it very late in the day to start engaging politically uh, with people across uh, the House of Commons and I think that's a pity. She wasn't in favour of Brexit, she voted to remain and yet she has had to pick up this chalice and run with it. But I think the real test would be has she the capacity uh, to be able to put the country first and that may well, well risk um, losing some members from the Conservative Party permanently.